वेलकम टू दिस ट्वेंटी सेवन्थ लेक्चर ऑन कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन ओके इन द लास्ट लेक्चर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर टिल नाउ वॉट वी वर डूइंग वी वर चूजिंग आर एडमिसिबल कर्व फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव वी हैड दीज फंक्शनल्स ओके एंड वी वर चूजिंग वाई सच दैट एट लीस्ट वाई वॉज इन द स्पेस डी वन ए बी राइट सो बेसिकली वी वर चूजिंग द स्मूथ फंक्शंस राइट Uh, in the last twenty six videos, we have this restriction. Okay, we had this restrictions that this restriction that the function should be smooth. Now we would like to know that do we really need need the cases where the functions may not be smooth? Okay, so, so this is what we are going to do. So the name is broken extremals. Broken like extremals means that we have extremals of the form. For example, if our domain is a to b, then we have Like something like this, piecewise continuous functions or piecewise piecewise smooth functions, something like that. So so far we have considered functions defined for functionals defined for smooth curves only, right? Now we would like to see functionals for non smooth uh, non smooth uh, admissible curves, right? For example, look at this functional. First we first of all we will look at an example where we cannot find the solution of the uh, problem. For for example, this functional it doesn't have an extremal if you will if you look in the class of smooth functions, okay. But if you look in the class of piecewise smooth function, you will get an extremum, okay. So it means that considering the piecewise piecewise smooth extremums is important, right? For example, if I input here y only from smooth class, I will not get any extremum, okay. But if I input if I enlarge the class this is only smooth functions these are piecewise smooth functions then i may fi find out my extremal somewhere here okay right so this is an example consider this extremal uh, problem uh, extremal problem here i have to find the extremal of this functional minus 1 to 1 y square 1 plus 1 minus y dash whole square dx where these are the boundary conditions y at minus 1 is 0 and y at 1 is 1 okay so let's write, write down the eulers equation This here your f is this. It is independent of x. Therefore, Euler's equation is this f. I can use this form of Euler's equation. This is f minus y dash f y dash is equal to c. So that will give you. You can just do the these things manipulations. That will give you this y square times one minus y dash square is equal to c c. That will give you. If c is equal to zero, if c is equal to zero, then we have y square into one minus y dash square is equal to zero. That will be y is equal to c. But we have these boundary conditions. Okay, so this y is equal to c does not satisfy these boundary conditions. Okay, then we can have y dash is equal to plus minus one. So we can have y is equal to x plus b or y is equal to minus x plus b. So we have the solution y is equal to just put y of use these boundary conditions. Okay, so you will get. B is equal to one. Therefore, your y is x plus one. So y of one is one plus one two. That is not equal to one. So again, this doesn't satisfy the boundary condition, and similarly, this doesn't satisfy the boundary condition. Okay. Therefore, c is equal to zero is not possible. Okay. So we must have c non-zero. So we have c not equal to zero, and in that case, y dash. Again, we have this as our equation. We can just do some manipulation, and you can just solve it. You will get this as your solution. So now you have two constants, c one and c. You will apply the boundary conditions, and you will obtain your constants. C one, you will obtain minus one by four. C is equal to minus nineteen by six, nine by six. So this is what you will get. This is a hyperbola. In fact, this is a rectangular hyperbola. Okay. Rectangular hyperbola. How how this hyperbola will look like? This hyperbola will look like something like this. Okay. And where are your boundary points? Boundary points are one comma one here and minus one comma zero. So boundary points are at the two different branches of the hyperbola. So you cannot have a smooth function, right? So for example, if my boundary point would have been one comma one and Two comma something, right? Then this this could have been my solution. But now one boundary point is here, one boundary point here. So I don't have a branch of hyperbola, hyperbola which combines this and this point. Okay, so it means that I, I I cannot find a smooth extremal for this functional, right? 
Okay. Now let us see. Can we find a non-smooth extremal for this functional? Right. So clearly you can see that here the integrand is always greater than equal to zero. So the value of the integral integral is greater than equal to zero. So uh, clearly we have j of y is greater than equal to zero. Okay. So if at some y I can find if at some y I can obtain the value of the functional as zero at some y star. Okay. Then obviously that will be my extremal, right? And at y star is equal to zero, we know that the value of the integral is zero. Okay. But this is not our extremal because it does not satisfy the boundary conditions. Okay. That is the problem. Boundary conditions are not satisfied. Okay. So it means that this this is out of the this 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 is out. This solution is out. Okay. Now consider this solution. Y star is equal to zero for minus one to zero. And y star is equal to 1 x from 0 to 1. So this solution is having a corner at x is equal to 0. This is something like this. But for this particular solution, see the value of the integral is minus 1 to 0, then 0 to 1. Then here this is 0 and then in uh, in this part y dash is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So the value of the integral is 0. Okay. For this particular value of y star, okay. I have j of y star is equal to 0 and I know that the minimum possible value of y, j of y is 0. Therefore, I know that y star is my extremal. Okay. Now, but this is not smooth. Okay. This function is not smooth. It is having a corner at this 0. Okay. So, it means that, that there are problems where we need to look for the solutions not in the smooth class but in the piecewise smooth class of functions. Okay. These are speed, smooth functions, right? So such extremals are called broken extremals. Let us see what are the uh, techniques to obtain such solutions, right? Let us, that is our job. Okay. Right. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to enlarge our admissible set from smooth functions to may not be smooth everywhere, okay? Right. So this is our problem. This is a simple statement. You can extend it. What I am looking at is I have these A and B. I have fixed endpoints and I have some point C in between. So among all the functions Y which are continuously differentiable in the interval A to B except at this point C. So I have the functions which are continuously differentiable here, here except at C. Okay. And, the, and they satisfy the boundary conditions this. Okay. I would like to find out such an such a function as the extremal of this functional, right? Weak extremal of this functional. Okay, so that is what I am looking for. Obviously, if I if I am doing, I am just taking one c. This can be generalized when there are many c one, c two, c three, and so on. C n. You can generalize this thing, right? Okay. So let us look at this thing. So what you do? You have these two intervals, a to c, and then c to b. Obviously, in A to C, the function is piecewise smooth. Uh, sorry, function is smooth. Therefore, it will it will like normal. It will be a normal extremal. Okay. Therefore, Euler's equation will be satisfied. And similarly, in C to B, the Euler's equation will be satisfied. So, in A to C, we have to obtain a different solution, and then C to B, we have to obtain a different solution. So, what we are doing is. We are dividing our integral a to b f x y y dash into a to b and then b to c into two functionals j1 and j2. Now we know that the necessary condition for the extremal is that variation should be zero. So we would like to obtain the variation del j and that we will obtain in terms of variation of j1 and variation of j2. Right. So we will we will now find the variation del j1 and del j2. Right. Okay. And also we want our solution from a to c and c to b they should be continuously joined at c right we 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 don't want it to be differentiable at c okay but we want it to be continuous at c right so endpoints a and b are fixed and c can move freely this c the endpoint at c can move freely except this continuity condition is there that from here and here your solution should join at one point right okay so let us see what is the variation and we will use the formula for general variation. That formula is very important. You can use everywhere. Okay. Now we know that if your functional is this of this form, then this was the form of the variation. 
okay this is the formula we have obtained for general variation right this is the general when there are no restriction on the on the endpoints right now in this a to c okay just look at this a to c obviously ilr equation is satisfied so this term is gone right and this point is fixed so we have del x not and del x1 zero right so we are left with only this term and this term sorry not del x not and del, del x1 sorry i am sorry this point is fixed so i have del x not zero and del y not zero so i am left with this term and this term is that clear so i have del j1 that is the variation in this part is f by dash at this point this is x1 and i am calling x1 is like at c but from left hand side so c from left hand side that is our x1 times del y1 right and then this f minus y dash f y dash del x1 and this point should be x1 x1 is our c but from left hand side so this is simple variation we are obtaining in the left hand part of the of our total interval a to b okay using the formula for the general variation okay similarly in the right hand part in this part the right hand side is fixed so i have del x10 and del y10 and obviously euler's equation is satisfied so this term gone so we are left with these two terms right so we have minus fy dash at the point left hand point so left hand point x0 is our c but from the positive side c plus 0 del y1 minus f y f minus y dash f y dash at c plus 0 c from positive side from this side okay here c was from this side del x1 okay right and because these are the two things and because we need the continuity at this point so this del y1 used here and here they are same and del x1 here and here they are same okay because we want continuity at this point right okay So now we need for the extremal the necessary condition is that del j should be zero that del j one plus del j two should be zero. Now del j one is this thing what we have obtained in the last uh, uh, last slide. So you just put it here and do the manipulation. Collect the del y one terms and del del x one terms. Now these two are independent. Del x one and del y one they are increment and independent. Therefore we get this is equal to zero. So we get that f y dash is equal to from left hand side of c is equal to f y dash from right hand side of c and then we get this thing this thing from left hand side of c is equal to this thing from right hand side of c these conditions are called weierstrass edimum conditions okay these are called weierstrass weierstrass edimum conditions okay so basically what how we have to solve the problems so we have to solve we have to divide the interval a to b into two parts okay then we have to solve the euler's equation here separately here separately right then we have two constants here two constants here we have total four constants arbitrary constant now we have one boundary condition here one here okay so two boundary conditions and two weierstrass conditions so we have four conditions to obtain these four constants in the next video we will look at some examples okay to have more clarification thank you